Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. In the last video, we successfully created our first application. In this video, we are going to explore the rules that got created during the application creation result. As I already mentioned, application is a rule in Pega. For a complete Pega application development, you may need to have lot of source codes developed. And when you create an application using the wizard, Pega can create a template or it can auto create some of your source code which you can enhance or update and continue with the development. Now I am going to show you the rules or the code that got created during the application creation wizard. Here you see the list of rules or rules categories that got created during the application creation. The first is the application layer. I hope you remember during the last video when we created our first application, we took some important decisions before we create the application. And first thing is to decide on the framework or the implementation application. And we decided to go with creating an implementation application. The next is to choose the build on application. We never used any solutions framework and we use Pega platform as the build on application. So here definitely Pega should be creating a new application rule. The next is rule sets. Rule sets helps to hold the rules or every rule should go under a rule set that can also help to package the rules and rule sets will be included under an application. So definitely if you are creating an application rule, you should have at least one rule set. So rule set should be created when you create a new application. So Pega creates the organizational rule sets, also the implementation rule sets. Next is the class layer. This is also one of the important decisions we took. We defined the layer cake in such a way that we will build our application layer over the organizational layer. We are not using any division layer or unit layer. Basically, there is two layers of cake, one as an organizational layer and the other as the implementation application layer. The next is the organizational instance. We also mapped the A-Life organizational structure into organization, division and unit and Pega creates all these instances. Next is security rules. Pega gives this as a starting point which you can use to implement a security for your application. And finally, Pega also provides a template of deployment rule. We call it as product rule that helps to package the application and deploy it to different environments. About security and deployment rules, we will see it in the separate video. In this video, I am going to concentrate in explaining about the top four blocks or the application, rule sets, enterprise class layer, as well as the organizational instance. I am going to show you how it got created. Here I have logged in into the Pega dev application and we already saw that during the application creation operator is updated with the newly created application. It means my operator if you open this operator you will find that it is pointing to the client's app application. A small tip during the software development whenever you use any wizard Pega automatically create lot of rules at the back end. So if you want to really know what are the rules that got created then you can go to this navigation link, go to configure and then application, development, recent access. This is going to give the list of rules that got recently updated. So this can not only hold the automatically created wizard rules, but also the rules that are developed by the fellow teammate developers. As you see, I am the only one operator currently at this moment. So you see a lot of rules that got created by my operator. Under the type, you can see the rule types as application, rule set, access role name to object, product rule, and then a skin rule that is an UI rule, and the class layers got created. Okay, now let's first start with the application layer. As I told before, currently I am pointing to the newly created application. To open any application, your current application, you can go to this pick list and click on this definition that will open up the application instance configuration. As you see, this is the newly created application clients app with the version 010101. This is the application rule configuration form. As I told, whatever you develop in Pega Designer Studio, for every type of rule, you will get a rule form from where you can do the configuration or do your coding. So this rule form is a specialized rule form for the application rule. Now let's look at some important configurations in this application rule. First is built on applications. I told you before, already we made a decision that this application will be over the Pega rules correspond to the Pega platform base layer. 
if you click and open this this will open up the pega rules application that is shipped when you install the pega personal edition so our client app is over this layer and we didn't use any cosmos ui stuff so it uses the ui kit which hold lot of ui rules so pega by default whenever you create a new application it uses the latest ui kit version as your build down application next is components components you can think it of some kind of utility or library that can serve a special purpose in your application development these components or utilities can be developed by anyone and it can be just plugged in into your application pega also have a marketplace where you can see the list of components that are available or provided by different solution partners if you go to pega community and from here you will find the last tab as marketplace click on it and then you can browse on applications components integrations if you click on components it is going to give you list of components that are already available in the marketplace if you find some components that can be used in your application you can very well check if you can download it or request from pega and you can download and then import it into your application components so how to add a component is first you have to get the zip file then install that zip file into your pega database and then you can add the component by using this option you can also use the manage components to download and install it currently this application is not going to include any components at this moment so we'll continue to the next configuration the next configuration is on presentation under presentation you see a rule type of skin this also got created during the application creation as you see skin is a mandatory field for any application the main role of skin is to define the ui styles for your application if you click and open the skin rule there you can find lot of configurations that can help with designing your look and feel of your application i am going to explain much in detail about skin during the ui videos for now just understand that every application should always point to a skin and pega when you create a new application it also creates a new skin now you may get a question do we really need to start from scratch to style your application no it's not the case skin rule can inherit the out of the box skin rules that is already provided it can reuse almost all of the styles that are already exist in the system so usually we will be updating little customization for example if your organization they have a specific theme on their websites you can also use the same kind of color palette into your skin rule to define the look and feel of your application now let's go back to the application and the next configuration is application alias rule this was introduced in pega 8.3 version if you look at the older versions you will not have this option so why pega introduce this option if you look at the current url you see localhost 8088 pr web pr servlet and then it says application as climbs app you see this is the application url alias so what it does if you switch the application it also changes the url so that currently you are into climbs app application now if i say go to pega rules application and then check the rule alias of pega rules i see it has app of pega rules just copy this so it prompts you to log in again it means the cookies are never passed before 8.2 in the same browser you cannot have two sessions on the same server for example if you open a development server in one tab you cannot open the same server into other tab now with this application url alias possibility you can open different applications under different tab this will really come handy when you want to compare different application settings you don't want to switch application and check it back instead you can open different applications under different tabs and then you can log in let's come back to the application rule in the right hand side block you see two sections one on development branches and the other on the application rule sets pega do support branch based development that is going to be my next video so i will save the explanation for the next video and application rule sets as you can see there are four rule sets one is implementation rule set which is climbs app climbs app win which is the implementation integration rule set a life which is the organizational rule set and a life int which is the organizational integration rule set we already know all our rules or the source code is going to go under this rule set i will complete this application configuration before looking into these rule sets so let's get back and check the main tabs that are part of the application rule cases and data tab here we can record the cases that you can associate with the application 
we are going to create a new case type of clients so we will include the clients as part of this application you can also include the data layer that is associated with this application under this tab one more important tab in the application is security under security you can secure your application by providing a password so whenever you want to update the application you have to provide the password if you don't provide the password you cannot update or save this application by default all the pegas out of the box applications will be password secured and pega will not provide you the password so you cannot update the pega base application instead you can create the build on applications and you can customize something over the top layer you can never update the pegas out of the box framework layer as you can also see they use this checkbox but for now we are not going to secure your application so these are all about the configuration points in an application rule form i briefly explained i missed a few of the configuration points which we will see in the coming videos as well now let's go back to the definition tab and check the application rule sets as i mentioned before pega created four rule sets let's open one of the rule set climbs app if you open this rule set this is going to give the rule form configuration of the rule set as you can see this rule set hold only one version that is 010101 under this you see 11 rules were created we also saw this similar rule in the development actions report there you see the product rule the skin rule the access role to name object rule all these rules were created and included it as part of the implementation rule set so pega also already decided under which rule set these rules should go i am having a separate video explaining about different configuration points in the rule set but for now you can understand that all your source code can go under one rule set and that rule set can be included into the application you know why pega created these two layers of rule sets right because we defined the enterprise class layer saying that our implementation application is going to be on the organizational layer we never use any division layer or unit layer that is why you find only the organizational rule sets and the application rule set you see some specialized rule set under implementation as well as organization you see an int rule set what is this int rule set meant for is you may need to have integrations with different systems to get the data in pega we can use the integration rules you can use the rest rule you can use the soap rules those are all called integration rules that can be used to get the data from different systems so pega expects these rules to be placed under a different rule set so that it can easily be plugged in and placed into somewhere or you can reuse the rule sets across places are we restricted to using only these four rule sets no it's not always the case in a real time project experience definitely you will be creating lot of rule sets more specifically you may create data rule sets you may create different different integration rule sets per system and there can be special special component rule sets which you can create and reuse it one more important thing to show about the rule set is under pega rules application you can also find the rule sets and all these rule sets that starts with pega these are out of the box rule sets that can hold the rules or the source code that is part of the package and you see here pega almost hold 55 rule sets under this application and each of these application is responsible to perform certain functionality let's take an example of number 23 we have pega import and export so what this rule set does is it helps with the deployment purpose you can manually import any jar into the pega system using pega design studio and pega import export will hold all the source code that can help with supporting the import and export you see there are 2184 rules that holds the source code that is solely responsible for only pega import and export and pega packaged all these rules under this rule set and this rule set is comes with the base application and when you build application using this base application you can also use this existing import export functionality in your application feel free to navigate under these rule sets to check the different functionalities that pega provides so now we covered about the application and the rule set now let's check about the organizational instances to check at the organizational instances you can go to records organization and then let's start with the organization here you see a life is the organization that got created and division can be found under here so division will have a life clients got created and unit we also created one but we just gave the name as unit so you see a life client unit just click and open this that is going to give you the structure of your organization 
it's going to be a life clients and you need all these are different different instances so pega creates an organizational instance division instance and unit instance this organizational structure can be included under the operator rule form i hope you remember during the operator rule form we configured the organizational structure as pega.com since we didn't create any application at that time now i will be updating my current operator to the a life organizational structure so how you can do is open this current operator i went here and opened it and go to the work tab and from work tab you can update your organizational unit saying that it's going to be a life as soon as you select a life the division will be correctly populated it's only one division climbs and then unit is going to be unit now you can submit this and save this operator instance by this way now you have updated the organizational structure of an operator by using the newly created organizational division and unit now it's time to look at the enterprise class structure that got created during the application creation wizard to start with that you can go to the app explorer that is going to give you the class exploration currently we have an work class and the application level i would like to start with the organizational structure so remove all these climbs app and work let's start with a life just a life and click outside that is going to give me the structure of the organizational class so a life is a class layer that can hold all the organizational rules and under organization you have three main layers one is the climbs app layer this is the implementation application layer why this is on the organizational level again i'm going to say we decided that option during the application creation we defined the class layer to be a life climbs app we never included a life division climbs app or a life division unit climbs app we just said climbs application will be at the organizational layer so that is why you see a life climbs app as a layer next is the data layer and int layer so pega automatically created a data layer at the organizational a int layer at the organization what do these two layers meant for in pegas class layers we can define three layers data layer int layer and work layer data layer as you know this is going to hold all your data objects customers can be a data object policies can be a data object there are different different data objects that you can include now you have two options you can either include it as an organizational data layer if you have division and unit you can also include the data as a division or unit this really you have to think it where you can place this data layer if you think of customer and policy that can go on the organizational layer because customers can be generic for the entire organization that can be reused across applications similarly policies it's also going to be the generic data model for the organization so all these organizational data objects can go under this a life data layer so when i say go under what i meant here is the source code or the attributes or properties that holds these data layers can go under this class layer next is the integration layer so why do we need an integration layer as i told before we also have integration rule sets that can hold the integration rules that helps to collect the data from different systems we can also define an int layer that can hold the source codes to connect to different systems just remember whenever you create any rule you need to specify two types of layers you have to specify a class layer and also you have to specify a rule set name the rule set we know we created integration and application rule sets similarly class layer is also going to be on integration data so when you place a rule you have to select these two option that we will see during the rule creation int layer is going to hold the source code of integration and organizational int is going to hold the source code of organizational level integrations again the same example of customer if customer data is stored into a java application you can use organizational integration layer to connect to the data and get the data into organizational integration layer and then you can map it to the organizational data layer so why do we need to map from integration to data because different systems may have the same attribute at a different name for example if you take loan number in our climbs application we may have an attribute to store it as loan number but different applications they may have it as loan id in that case you can map the attributes into int layer as loan id and then from int layer you can map it to your data layer from loan id into loan number always note that whatever data whether the data may be in our application or it can be also in a different application 
when you want to use some data make it into the data layer don't use the data as an integration object just map it to the data layer and use it now that we seen about the data and the int layer that are more specific to the organizational level what about there is a data object that holds the fraud list of the client's application this is more specific to the client's application right i cannot place these data objects under the organizational layer the first main reason is this is never going to get reused across organization and this is more specific to the application so where can we place those type of data objects pega created data and int layer into the application as well you see data and int layer at the organizational layer and you see the same data and int layer at the application layer also so if you want to refer this data layer it is going to be a life hyphen climbs app hyphen data this data is more specific to implementation application so here i can hold all the fraud instances of climbs application under this data layer similarly for integration if this fraud list is saved under different system then you can use the applications integration layer instead of organizational integration you can use the application integration because this integration is more specific to this application you cannot use this integration into organizational wise and you also see there is a class work class that is specific to the application you won't find this work class at the organizational layer because every work or case type should be associated with the application you cannot have a work at the enterprise layer and reuse the work instances across enterprise instead you can have your work layer only at the application so work here prefers to case in our use case we are going to have clients processing so for clients processing can be a case or a work layer and all the source code for the clients can go into the work layer these are the three main divisions of class layers you will have work layer you will have data layer you will have int layer a short summary work layer is going to hold the source code of all the work related or case related int layer is going to hold the source code of integrations and data layer is going to hold the source code of data objects i will quickly show you why do we need a class layer and a rule set layer if you go to records and then technical and then open an activity just i will open any activity if i open this activity activity is a source code in pega that is one of the most commonly used source code in pega and you see this activity is part of class work so this is the class layer and the rule set layer it is of pega rule set so what i meant here is whenever you create any source code or rule you need to specify the class and you need to specify the rule set when you are starting with pega development this is the first thing you have to decide under which class layer you need to place your source code if the source code is more organizational specific then you can place under this layer if it is more application specific then you can place the source code under this layer if you are a junior developer and if you are not very comfort with under which layer the source code should go just check with your team lead they can really help you with placing your source code under which layer once you get started with the development you can automatically think and place the source code under the right layer and one more thing to notice pega can use the rules under the rule inheritance path it means a life client sap work can use the rules from a life which is specified at the organizational level pega uses some inheritance which i will be explaining it into the enterprise class structure video just wait for that so in this video we covered about four rule types the application rule the rule sets that got created the enterprise class layers and the organizational instances so all these got created when you use the application creation wizard now our application is ready let's start with the development for this i am going to start with the branch based development see you in the next video